The film begins in Kabul, Afghanistan, where a journalist named Elsa is interviewing a civilian called Mena. Elsa is there because she wants to know more about a war that breaks out there and a cruel Taliban leader named Ahmad Zaif. Mena also tells her about her sad past, apparently, she was sold to the Zaif family when she was a little child. Mena warns Elsa to go back to her home country as soon as possible since it's dangerous out there, Zaif can capture and kill them without a problem. She says that this will be their last meeting since Zaif himself already knows if Mena has leaked a lot of his secrets. Mena quickly leaves afterward. Soon after, Elsa's colleague, Amin, informs her that she's in danger now. Taliban forces know about this interview and they're going to get her. Amin quickly fetches her and wants to take her somewhere safe, but Elsa refuses because she wants to save Mena. They almost arrive at Mena's house when they realize that Taliban forces are already patrolling there. Seeing this Elsa decides to seek help from her acquaintance, Salem Ani. But when they meet instead of getting help, they walk into a trap, the forces know if Salem Ani is working with Elsa. They try to escape but fail, the forces capture Amen and Elsa and bring them to their hideout place. The news about Elsa reaches the news director where Elsa works in Paris, and soon after the government knows about this. The higher-ups are having a meeting to assess the situation. They're sure that Elsa is kidnapped by Ahmad Zaif who is hiding in his village. Afterward, the decision is made, they're going to send special forces to rescue Elsa. A plane is leaving for Afghanistan, and later their commander Kovacs with his friend, Lucas are welcomed and brought to Gandama camp. It's a joint base camp, in this camp, there are soldiers from Afghanistan, Pakistan, and France. In this camp, Kovacs and Lucas meet their new friends, Tic Tac, Victor, Marius, and lastly Elias as their sniper. Kovacs explains to them if this rescue mission is an intelligent mission and the hostages are in Pakistan. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, Elsa meets Ahmad Zaif, Zaif already knows about her interview with Mena, he knows about Elsa's writings about himself. Zaif doesn't want the world to know about what he did, so he decides to twist the truth with a staged video recording. He forces Elsa to read a statement he made, and it is revealed that Zaif is graduated from Cambridge, but now he is a fanatic follower of a section. Elsa is almost killed because she refuses to read the statement. But suddenly Zaif has a change of heart, he killed Salem Ani instead, Salem Ani is executed right in front of Elsa. 30 minutes later the execution video is sent to France's government. They are in doubt because of this, they aren't sure if Elsa is still alive, and even Admiral Gezenek who is in the mothership is also hesitant. But, after Gezenek reports the situation to Kovacs, everyone on the plane agrees to continue the mission even though they still aren't sure about Elsa's status. Arriving on the scene, the special forces start jumping off the plane one by one with their equipment. On the other hand, an Afghanistan secret agent is stalking a Taliban spiritual leader named Zukin Mala. He is seen entering a house where a group of people is waiting for him, this group is called Sura. In this meeting they are arguing about Zaif who still hasn't killed Elsa yet, some of them agree that Zaif is unfit to be a leader. Zaif tries convincing them that he won't disappoint them. Meanwhile, the special forces are currently in a place that is believed to be the place where Elsa is held. When they are monitoring the situation, they see a group of people being executed. Sadly, one of them is Mena. Truthfully, Elian can just shoot the sniper, but Kovacs forbids him because it's not part of the mission. After waiting until it's safe, the five of them start sneaking in while Elias monitors them from afar. They don't need to wait long for that. With good teamwork and complete equipment, they can easily defeat every bad guy in their path. And finally, Elsa and Amen are rescued. Clear. Clear. Hey, calm. Keep calm. Uh, Elsa Casanova. Yes. Zaif arrives and is enraged when he finds out if the hostages managed to escape. He doesn't want to lose Elsa this easily, so he orders his men to find them. The special forces have another problem, their communication device is broken, which means they can't contact the helicopter to rescue them. Kovacs instructs Marius to go towards the hill and ignite the emergency signal, he will stay with Elias and hold the Taliban here. Soon after, Elias is seen being chased by the Taliban forces. 
but he manages to escape and join Kovacs afterward. When the enemy is in the open, Kovacs quickly fires them with surprise attacks. <laughs> Meanwhile, Marius successfully ignites the signal, but it's impossible to do a rescue in that terrain. The helicopters have to retreat because Zaif's men are attacking them. This operation is considered a failure, the government hears about this, and they don't know what's happening now, whether the forces or Elsa are still alive or not. On the second day, they're walking through the Rocky Mountains. Since there's no communication, Kovacs decides to walk along the river to Afghanistan, and maybe it will lead them back to their camp. The command center tries sending jets to find them, but the jets still can't find them. On the third day they realize that the enemies are getting close, Marius suggests they counterattack, so the special forces start firing on the Taliban. Go, 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 go! It isn't long until half of the Taliban are killed, and his men reported to Zaif who is waiting for them below. Seeing his subordinates running away Zaif is angry, he orders them to go back to attack the forces. Now it's their fourth day wandering in the mountains, the rough terrains and the surprise attack are tiring them out. Meanwhile, some of France's soldiers are dispatched to look for the special forces. They keep circling the mountains, but they still couldn't find them, now they're too far away from the previous coordinates. The special forces arrive at a small village near the mountain, they are greeted warmly by the Muslim villagers who live there. With Amin's help, they can communicate with the villagers. Kovacs is confused because he didn't see any young men there. Someone explains that this summer the Taliban took all young men from 17 and above. At first, they will send them to school, but then they will brainwash those young men to the wrong path. When they are resting suddenly, Marius is shot dead by a sniper. It's chaos after that, everyone is panicking. Elias, their sniper is quickly looking for the source to fire back before the enemy's sniper manages to shoot him. It's the fifth day, they have to continue their journey. They haven't walked very long when Amen decides to go back because he doesn't want to leave the villagers in this dangerous situation. Kovacs orders Lucas to stay with Elsa, he will protect the villagers with the rest of them. The Taliban arrive at the village, and the elder greets him warmly, but then, he answers that warm greeting with a shot in the head. Zaif orders his men to execute all of the villagers. The special forces try to sneak in to rescue some of the villagers. Go! I ever tell you I love this job? Huh? You never told me that. Later, Amen is shot dead by Zaif, and Victor is shot too, but he is carried by his friend. They manage to escape to a safe place, carrying the injured Victor with them. They have no time to rest, they quickly treat Victor's wound, after that, they continue their journey. Elias is separated from them to divert the Taliban's attention from his friend, but unfortunately, Elias is shot after desperately trying to outrun the enemies who chase him. It's the sixth day, the help still hasn't arrived yet. Now they're in the cold area of the mountain. On the seventh day, they wake up and find Victor is already dead. Three men of the special forces have died, there are only Commander Kovacs, Lucas, Tic Tac, and Elsa now. On the eighth day, they're walking through the snowy mountain, they are trying their best to survive with everything they have. Time goes by, it's the ninth day and they have made it through the snowy mountains, and now they're back on the rocky mountains. They are already exhausted, but again, the Taliban are attacking them. And in this battle, Lucas has to die. Elsa who is hiding is being chased by Zaif, who is aiming for her from the start. Zaif manages to capture Elsa, but luckily Kovacs manages to shoot him, Zaif dies on the spot. It's the tenth day, it's only three of them now. They just need two hours to reach the border of Afghanistan, but unfortunately, Kovacs is injured because of an avalanche. Now, it's only Elsa who can continue the journey, even though Elsa is very reluctant to leave those two. She passes out on the 11th day. But thank god a passing military car finds Elsa. On the 12th day finally, good news reaches the Admiral, Elsa is found alive. Everyone is happy to hear that news. 
The French government sends their people to check Elsa's condition, Elsa should have been taken to the hospital for treatment, but she refuses it. She chooses to go with the Admiral to find Kovacs and Tic Tac. Finally, their whereabouts are found and they manage to survive. After spending 12 days in conflict, they successfully rescue Elsa, 